My name is Obina Ukwani. Uh, I'm currently studying economics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I'm also an education entrepreneur. Um, I'm running my first education venture out of Lagos, Nigeria. We educate um, high school kids in Nigeria, or actually across, across West Africa, and we teach them how to build and program robots with the intention of teaching them engineering principles, um, leadership, collaboration, uh, technical creativity, um, in the hopes that one day they will take that experience and become leaders in the field and usher Africa into a new era of, uh, well, into a new industrial revolution. I'm at MIT now, and I've been doing robotics for a very long time. At this point, I have probably seven years cumulative of high school robotic experience. I started in high school. I competed in, in, in a national league, the first robotics league, the premier league in the US. Um, and that experience probably gave me an advantage in the uh, applicant pool for MIT. And I attribute my participation in first robotics to um, you know, helping me get into MIT. And I also learned quite a bit about myself and about things about technology, about thinking. And I thought that it's only right that Africans get the same kind of experience, because I know what that kind of experience did for me. It opened up doors that were not open previously. Um, it made me more ambitious. And a lot of the things I've been able to accomplish since having those experiences, I would attribute to experiences like um, my robotic experience. So my, my project is called Exposure Robotics because we're exposing kids to these things in the hopes that their minds will be open and they'll accomplish things that they pro probably would not have accomplished without such exposure. Um, challenges, uh, the challenges to what I'm doing. Well, what we do is expensive. We hire the best to teach the brightest kids in the country. Um, hiring the best means paying them competitive salaries, and we work with the large organizations to fund this. And we get some criticism sometimes about the cost versus the impact ratio. It's a very expensive program at around $3,000 per head per student. Um, and we, we charge that much because we're flying in students from MIT from Colombia, and we're hosting them in Nigeria for over a month to teach Nigerian kids. And um, that's, that's really what's challenging about it, just make sure we have the money for that and trying to balance the impact with the amount of money we're spending. Why I joined Harambe? I joined Harambe really early on, I think in, in the second or third year of its existence. And I joined because I think there was a, there was a glow that the participants had about themselves. There was a, almost like a blind ambition that they just wanted to do something, and I could, I could connect with that. Um, Little had I known that I had a latent blind optimism and blind ambition within myself. Um, when I joined, I found so many other people who had such high thoughts about what they could accomplish, um, big dreams for what they could do for Africa, and I had a passion for Africa. And Harambe became the avenue, the vehicle for me to express that passion. Um, I found people that I could work with. Um, I found people that I could build organizations with, develop leadership skills and, and business management skills with and together we went on to accomplish great things. Um, and the beautiful thing about Harambe is that uh, Okendo in particular um, and, and the people who work closely with them, their success hinges on our success. So they sweat and toil so that we have access to opportunities so that we, that we can grow our, our, um, our ventures. And it's great because Okendo's livelihood revolves around me being able to do what I do. Um, and so it's a, it's a beautiful um, exchange of, of effort and it just works out for the best for everyone. Um, so I've learned so much doing what I'm doing. I've learned a lot about business. I've learned a lot about, about management, about marketing, about all these things. And there are some mistakes I wish I hadn't made. Um, so definitely for the future, I'd like to launch new ventures within the same education space in Nigeria, perhaps across West Africa. Uh, I think what I'm doing right now will continue to run. Um, I'll expand the brand. I, I'm actually in the process of writing a plan to build a school. Um, so I would very much like to be involved in the transformation um, and the renovation of the Nigerian education sector. And that's, that's really where I plan to make my mark over the next five years.